Hello and welcome to Scripture Verse by Verse. This is our 39th lecture in the book of Deuteronomy. And we come today to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And Father, we ask that you would add your blessings to your word in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. God says, If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. That, of course, that promise was given to the nation Israel. And they did put God first for a while, and God did make them the greatest nation anywhere on earth. This happened during the reign of David and Solomon. And it was a pretty short time in the history of their nation. It could have been much longer if they would have obeyed the Lord. But God says in verse 2, All these blessings will come upon you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. The blessings which are about to be spoken that is, the good times, do not come by good luck. They come from heaven. And in the case of Israel, the extra good times are a bonus for holiness. Verse 3, You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. If they obey, God says city life will be great. The population will grow because that's a sign of blessing too. But people will get along with each other. The cities will be a good place to live. And if people were sold out to God in America, the cities would be much safer than what they are, much healthier than what they are, you wouldn't have to put bars and double locks and security systems on everything that you own. <clears throat> Part of the blessing of obedience. Verse 4. The fruit of your womb will be blessed, and the crops of your land, and the young of your livestock, the calves of your herd, and the lambs of your flocks. Everything that reproduces from man to crops will reproduce abundantly and be healthy as well. Rewards for obedience. Five, your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed. In other words, your cupboards and your refrigerators will be full. Six, you will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out meaning private life, public life, whether it's indoors or outdoors, it'll be nice. Success and health and happiness is there for them to receive if they will do things God's way. Seven, the Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven. If any of Israel's enemies dare to attack, they will attack as a unit, but they will scatter in a panic. God will protect His obedient people. Verse 8, The Lord will send a blessing on your barns, and on everything you put your hand to. The Lord your God will bless you in the land He has given you. They must never forget that their good times are a gift from the hands from the hands on God who orders those blessings. You know, you order a pizza and it is delivered. God says, You obey me, Israel. And I'll order a great life for your nation. And I will have it delivered. Verse 9. 
the Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he promised you on oath, if you keep the commands of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. And God will do this for us today as well. If we live the way he wants us to live, he will set us apart. He will use us and bless us in ways that won't be true of the disobedient. Verse 10. Then all the peoples on earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they will fear you because of God's care and His protection and His provision for obedient Israel everyone will know that they are His children just something to remember all people are God's creation but only those who have a relationship with Him through their faith are His children verse 11 the Lord will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb the young of your livestock and the crops of your ground in the land he swore to your forefathers to give you the Lord may the Lord the Lord blesses the obedient and he curses the disobedient that is his message to Israel here the Lord has many windows in heaven, in a sense. He has a window for lightning, a window for wind, a window for snow, a window for hail, and another one for a nice rain to water the crops. He says to Israel that he will keep the bad ones shut and the good ones open if, if, if Israel lives the way that they should. Verse 13. God says the Lord will make you the head, not the tail, if you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God that I give you this day and carefully follow them. You will always be at the top, never at the bottom. God says, Israel, you obey me, you will be the head, not the tail. The head, not the tail, means that they will call the shots for other nations other nations will not call the shots for Israel if Israel is obedient that is verse 14 do not turn aside from any of the commands I give you today to the right or to the left following other gods and serving them just stay on the right path God is saying the word of God is its like a nice road. It is the best way to get from where you are to where you are going. But disregarding the scriptures and living contrary to them will put you on a spiritual cow path and make your life miserable. 15. However, if you do not obey the Lord your God and do not carefully follow all His commands and decrees, I am giving you today all these curses will come upon you and overtake you in other words here's a list of bad things that will happen if you do not follow my word he's already listed the good things that will happen if they do obey him now here's a list of the bad things beginning in verse 16 you will be cursed in the city and cursed in the country and just the opposite of what he said earlier because country life and city life will be miserable everything that can go wrong it seems will go wrong verse 17 your basket and your kneading trough will be cursed in other words your cupboards and your refrigerators will be empty 18 the fruit of your womb will be cursed and the crops of your land and the calves of your herds and the lambs of your flocks anything that does happen to reproduce which won't be much won't be very healthy not if Israel disobeys God it won't verse 19 you will be cursed when you come in 
and cursed when you go out. Public life, private life, indoors and outdoors, will not be very good at all if they forsake the Lord their God. 20. The Lord will send you on, or excuse me, the Lord will send on you curses, confusion, and rebuke in everything you put your hand to until you are destroyed and come to sudden ruin because of the evil you have done in forsaking him. In other words, if they leave God, he will leave them. And when he does, they will learn that his presence his presence is the reason for good things you know you walk away from God he can't walk away from you literally because God is everywhere one of his essential characteristics is that he is omnipresent he is everywhere at the same time but he will turn his back when it comes to dishing out blessings and the absence of good is bad and Israel will find that out the hard way everything will be bad everything will go wrong until there is nothing left to them verse 21 the Lord will plague you with diseases until he has destroyed you from the land you are entering to possess everyone gets sick but as judgment from God they will get sick and remain sick and it will be one sickness after another new and powerful and strange diseases will come upon them 22 the Lord will strike you with wasting disease with fever and inflammation with scorching heat and drought with blight and mildew which will plague you until you perish what an ugly ugly description of living a life without the blessings of God terrible painful disease on people and a blasting destructive blight on crops is in store for Israel in place of good and healthier and bumper crops if they turn away from almighty God that's the way it's going to be God is loving but he will not be mocked 23 the sky over your head will be bronze the ground beneath you iron try to squeeze water out of bronze good luck you won't get any The sky will be bronze, says God, meaning no rain. No rain. And no rain means lousy soil, which means hunger. Which results in verse 24. The Lord will turn the rain of your country into dust and powder. It will come down from the skies until you are ruined. Instead of rain in the air the wind will kick up the dry earth and the air will be filled with dust and dirt and all these terrible things can be avoided if they just put God first and live for him but as a way of chastising his people these horrible things will happen if they turn their back on him and live an ungodly life and Father we thank you for your word Help us to apply it to our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.